What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, I've had a couple requests recently for an update on my prepper solar shed and so I thought I'd just show that to you now just to do a quick video show you some of the updates since the first construction videos that I did. As you can see before we go inside this is my fuel storage. This is for the wood burning fireplace inside. I've got some more different types of fuels inside the, the cabin or the, the shed, sorry. Uh, this is new for those who haven't looked at my uh, rain catchment system videos. We're harvesting water from the roof, through these gutters, through the PVC and down into this IBC tote that stores 275 gallons of water. Uh, I could use it in a disaster for drinking water if I purified it or boiled it first. As you can see on this side, uh, I can't really see. Anyway, you can see the bottoms of the solar panels. I've got four 140 watt, 5 watt panels up on the top. I also have a secondary, much smaller system. This is a uh, 20 watt panel that uh, is a completely separate from the other system. This is my 12 volt system. The other is a 24 volt system got my uh, air conditioner poking out the back here so let's go ahead and go inside so the majority of this is for storage um, a lot of this doesn't have anything to do with preps but we have uh, our bike storage in here uh, when I was talking about fuels I've got uh, 10 gallons of, of fuels here mostly that's for my lawnmower but it also can double as emergency gasoline for the car um, got all my tools for gardening that's not really a prep uh, here's more more fuels you could use these in a pinch if you had to uh, charcoal and wood chips up here I've got storage for all of my camping equipment these are great for preps because I've got them strategically located so I can just grab sleeping bags, grab tents, grab chairs, and head on out if I needed to. Um, and there's lanterns, obviously. Um, just some more storage. Here's the air conditioning uh, unit you saw from the outside. Let me turn on some lights here because these doors keep shutting. Um, I can't power this with my small solar system, but I can use uh, extension cords if I have to work out here for an extended period of time. Now this is my work area for various projects. Um, this is the 12 volt solar panel system, um, completely separate. This is what I use for testing for small 12 volt tests that I do. Uh, and that's why the wiring is exposed, so I have easy access to it. And this is just mostly for playing. Um, I've got a small charge controller, small battery bank. Anyway, this is just for play, for testing. This is my test bench and so forth. Over here is the actual production off-grid 24 volt solar panel system. You've probably seen my other videos for this, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. But I've got batteries in here. Um, the charge controller is up underneath here and power comes from the solar panels um, through the roof and on down into combiner box then into the charge controller then into these batteries and then on out and through conduit underground and over into my house I can also use this for I've got a 24 volt inverter here I charge my power tool batteries with it can charge my cell phone, my laptop, whatever I want to out here. It's free electricity basically as far as I'm concerned. Um, I've got 12 volt batter, or, uh, lights uh, rigged up from this test system. And uh, anyway, so the, and then more storage up on top. This is where I keep fertilizers and junk, uh, more storage, project storage and so forth. Uh, I've got a refrigerator here. This is a good prep because I can power that off of this 24 volt system if I need to in an emergency it will I don't normally run it because it takes a lot of power but in an emergency I could run this 
and at least keep my milk and certain things from perishing for a short period of time. Um, anyway, that's those are the the preps that are that I have in here. Um, you guys have asked for some updates, so uh, here it is. Thanks for watching, guys.